Hey folks, I'm Brett Rasmussen, and you're watching Back to School, your guide to riding backcountry terrain Rasmussen style. And hosting today's episode is my good friend and Skidoo ambassador from Valdez, Alaska, Ashley Chaffin. Take it away, Ashley. What's up guys, Ashley here, and you're watching episode 14. We'll be teaching how to descend steep slopes on a snowmobile while maintaining the control needed to stop and turn it well. Having control during a steep descent is a rewarding feeling and allows the rider confidence needed to access large areas of backcountry terrain. Let's review the technique used to complete a controlled descent. First off, as you approach the crest of the hill, roll the snowbill up on edge and bring it to the balance point. The edge in most cases means the uphill side of the ski, the side panel, the running board, and the edge of the track. This friction point can be used as carving and braking mechanisms. In the perfect situation, the track will grab and slow or stop you, but that's the exception, not the rule. The second step is to transfer to position three as the sled moves through the crest of the slope. This will add your foot an additional friction point and allow more control of the direction of the sled. The idea is to be able to control speed and direction at the same time. Third, place the wrong knee into the console of the sled. This will help support the upper body and allow you to conserve energy. This will also help weight the front of the sled, which is needed for the next step. Fourth, counter steer slightly until the nose dips. The ski is engaged in the snow and will tip up and start to push against the snow below it. Oftentimes, this alone is plenty to slow or stop the sled and will likely require throttle to keep moving downhill. If that doesn't create enough friction to stop, it's okay to apply brake as well. Just try not to lock up the track. If you still need additional stopping power, you can drive your free leg forward and push your foot down into the snow. The key to having control in a descent is to apply equal brake power to each friction point. Locking up the track will likely put the sled into a skid, which can cause loss of control. Fifth, keep your eyes focused down slope on the chosen line. To change direction, steer into the hill, bringing the sled off its edge and back to two skis down temporarily. You will gain more speed momentarily as you do this. Counter steer the other way and transfer body position to the opposite side hopping over the seat and onto the other running board, landing wrong foot forward. This will allow changes of direction and maneuverability. In the event you need to drop down something very steep or slick, you will likely need to stay on one edge and try to maintain a controlled side hill as much as possible. This is more of an elevator move and we'll discuss it in detail in a later video. To practice, start on a short and steep slope with loose snow and no consequences. Practice using the right amount of throttle and brake to maintain control of track rotation speed. Practice feeling the engaged ski bite down onto the snow as you counter steer and lean forward. You'll be riding like a pro before you know it. Thanks Ashley, that was great. Folks, in episode 15 we'll be teaching the proper technique used to ascend steep slopes. If you find these tutorials helpful and want the full experience, we'd love to have you join us on the mountain. Get details about our in-person clinics at riderasmussenstyle.com. Thanks again, and see you next time.